You weren't originally planning on living in the van this winter, but with some housing options falling apart and also wanting to save money, are changing up the van and insulating a little bit better and making some upgrades so that we can live in it this winter. First thing is taking out this toaster oven because we will not have enough power for it. Bye, friend. Bye. Amazon Christmas. When we found out we were gonna be in the van for the winter, we knew we had to get a heater. Heard tons of great things about these Chinese diesel heaters. We got the happy buy ones. I like that spot, so I'm just gonna take my pencil, outline it so I know exactly where to cut. We made it. First blood. Quick little clean up. Too bad. We are gonna start working on mounting the diesel tank. Forgot about connecting the pump to the electrical since most people mount the pump inside the van. It's never an issue and I've never seen anybody do it, but because I heard how noisy the pump was, I made sure to install it outside, which means I need to drill an extra hole for this guy. All the way through, I cut all this excess off. Oh, I probably should have done this a while ago, but I'm gonna mount this now. Oh. Now we gotta seal the gas. Exhaust, fuel line, air intake, our pump, our filter, and then this guy runs all the way over to the fuel tank. Now that everything's mounted, all we're really doing is just the electrical. Plug this guy in. Would you look at that? We're live, baby. I got this set. There's so many to choose from, but I got this one specifically because it has this T divider. And I wanted to make sure to have tubing that heated the main cabin as well as all of my electrical stuff in the back, so. middle of mounting the display. So I just drill a hole in the wall for this cord to go through and it has this back plate that I'm gonna use to mount it. So What are you doing, lady? Cutting fluffy stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Cotton candy. Got 
the curtain rod up. So now we'll just need to get a cab divider on. winter window coverings. We've got this comforter and I am taking these pieces of trim and hot gluing it to the edges. We've cut them the size of our windows and that will hopefully add some trim. That'll make it look a little bit nicer. We're gonna put magnets in there too. So Nina and I got these neodymium super magnetic uh, bars, but to double the amount of magnets, I'm gonna break them all in half. I'm just putting the neodymium bar in a vise to make sure I get a clean cut around the middle. I do recommend wearing a glove, that way um, if it does break off and it's kind of sharp, it, you're not gonna get any cuts. Put it right back on the divider so they're not gonna break each other more. So now that we've doubled all of our magnets, get all the layouts. Miss Nina over here on the glue gun. Just gluing up the storm. So what are you doing there? Marking the side that needs to go down on all of them. Why? So that they don't attach to each other. Looks like you're playing the piano. Looks pretty good. Thinking about making a little secret compartment to go over the wheel well. We haven't really used the space super efficiently. Hinges right here, you know, we'll flip up this little portion under the bed. getting his final wash. Jay takes his car washing very seriously. Don't you take your showers very seriously? Actually, not really. <laughs> Packing up the van for another six months of van life is a lot easier the second time around. This time we started like two hours before planning on leaving instead of like six hours, so. I guess we've shrunk down our time. Not as stressful either. We're kind of like, eh, if we forgot something, whatever. More minimalistic now. Goodbye, home. I hate leaving. We're already home. Ha ha. Ha ha. Bruce is our home. Full of stuff. Skis. Ski boots.